Prince Harry is struggling to get his new bride in line. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, has been pushing royal protocol and spouting off about her feminist political views in public, but now she went too far. Harry said it, and he just cancelled her birthday bash following his grandmother's advice. Queen Elizabeth II just caught the American actress involved in a huge scandal with royal staffers, and Her Majesty told Harry, this must stop. Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, is once again causing problems for the Queen at Kensington Palace as her father Thomas Markle gives a nine-hour interview to the Daily Mail. Mr. Markle is livid that he has been cut off from Meghan. The former American celebrity went over the Queen's head, hiring a huge PR team to make her dad look bad. I'm really hurt that she's cut me off completely. I used to have a phone number and text number for her personal aides at the palace, but after I said a few critical words about the royal family changing Meghan, they cut me off. Those numbers were disconnected, they no longer work. I have no way of contacting my daughter. Reports started to come in around July 11 that the Queen's own PR team was quitting over Meghan's antics. The Daily Mail reported, Sally Osmond, the director of royal communications, and Steve Kingstone, the Queen's media secretary, are leaving Buckingham Palace. They were criticized for failing to properly support Meghan's father, Thomas, who has caused an uproar blaming the palace for his issues with his daughter. The truth is that the Queen's PR staff were livid over the way Meghan took control of the situation with her father, and it's now a continuing scandal. Even Prince Harry's longtime private secretary, Edward Lane Fox, quit over Meghan's haughty attitude as she refused to take his advice. Palace insiders say when he departed this summer he warned Harry, it's Meghan's bad press hurting the royal family and especially your grandmother. Meghan steamrolled over Harry when their engagement was announced, telling him she would handle the press with her own PR team. Now, Harry sees his wife's family out of control as something Meghan created by not handling the situation, especially with her father, from the very beginning. And it's only getting worse. The Daily Mail reports, Thomas Markle suggests that Meghan has a willful streak that she inherited from her mother, Doria. Meghan got her attitude from her mother, he said. Doria always told Meghan, if they're not doing anything for you, why should you do anything for them? He added, I like to think that a little kindness goes a long way. I like to give people the benefit. Royal insider Ingrid Seward set the record straight about Meghan's horrendous PR scandal and why Harry and the Queen put the kibosh on Meghan's birthday bash. Seward reports via the Daily Mail, no one has been telling Meghan what to do or what not to do when it comes to her personal relationship with her father. Seward continues, the Queen does not intervene in family matters, although she might wish she had done when it came to the breakdown of her son's marriage to Diana, so it is up to Meghan how she chooses to deal with her relatives. Which brings us to the Duchess's birthday on August 4. Last year, Harry whisked Meghan away to Botswana in Africa for a romantic birthday getaway. Since she was not officially in the royal family last August, a big palace birthday party was not in order. But this year, royal insiders like Ingrid Seward are reporting the Queen and her grandson Harry are on the same page when it comes to his new bride's birthday. There will be no royal birthday bash. Of course, to thwart rumors of this latest royal smackdown of Meghan, Prince Harry will be standing up as the best man in his good friend's wedding on August 4. But, Kensington Palace says no comment when asked if Meghan's birthday will be celebrated on another day. This is how a good PR team works when covering up a royal scandal. The Queen put her foot down hard on Meghan following the Duchess's public support of abortion in Ireland. Additionally, the Queen refuses to acknowledge Meghan's birthday also over the continued issue with the Duchess looking like a heartless daughter who only cares about what she can get out of people. Other PR disasters of Meghan's making includes her urging Harry to stop hunting, a passion and tradition with the royal family. Palace insider Jill Cooper also weighed in on the Duchess banning Harry from eating meat since she's a vegan. Cooper said, Harry's a lovely, hunky man. You shouldn't put men on diets. I think that's awful. I don't like correcting people, do you? I want him to be our Harry, as well as her Harry. He's a good boy who desperately needs a loving atmosphere. The 92 year old queen doesn't need the headache of worrying about Harry's wife running around causing scandals and bad press. The monarch told Harry, this must stop.
Luckily, it looks like her grandson is siding with Her Majesty and giving Meghan a nasty surprise for her birthday. No big party, not even a mention of it in the press. The former American actress can either get in line and listen to the Queen's PR people or she'll be missing more than just a birthday bash next year.